More on Matthew Perry, the beloved Friends actor, shared his private battle with addiction in his memoir last year and said that he didn't want Friends to be his only legacy, but instead that when people also struggling with addiction asked him for help, he always said yes. Chris Conley is back with more. Good morning again, Chris. And good morning again to you, Rob. And as you say, he could be the funniest person in the room any room and would enjoy great success with friends. But Matthew Perry made it clear that's not how he wanted to be remembered most. In his own words, he chronicled his decades-long struggle with addiction and what he hoped his legacy would be. I went to that tanning place your wife suggested. Was that place the sun? <laughs> For so much of Matthew Perry's life, going back to childhood, making people laugh was what mattered, and he was very good at doing just that. All right, when was 1990? <laughs> okay, you have to stop the Q-tip when there's resistance. At 24, Perry's triumph on Friends was the fulfillment of a dream. He'd go on to shine on the West Wing. And you know, if you hang him on that pipe in the corner late afternoon, you get your suits pressed right in front of you. You're the welcoming committee, aren't you? Hey, no, but that's a good idea. Let me show you around. As a matter of fact, I should probably stay here and get started. Joe, I outrank you by like 17 rungs, so follow me, would you? Sure. Come on, it's gonna be fun. With the whole nine yards. Excuse me. Not to interrupt or anything, but you were, you, you were gonna kill me? That was the plan? He joined Michael J. Fox as the only actors to have a number one TV series and a number one movie at the same time. But recent years and the addictions that he suffered through had brought a new focus to his life, as he told Diane Sawyer. For some reason, it's obviously because I was on Friends, more people will listen to me. So I've got to take advantage of that. I've got to help as many people as I can. He did it in part by sharing his story with the world in his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, telling George Stephanopoulos of a years-long dependency on alcohol. I had to keep it a secret because I didn't understand really what was going on. I thought I was alone in this. I thought, you know, my thinking was very weird, and I thought I was alone. And then I read a passage in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous that said drinkers are, think they're trying to escape but really what they're trying to do is get over an illness that they don't know they have. Hmm. And I read that and went, oh, there's 30 million people that think that like that. Sense. Before season three, a jet ski mishap led a doctor to prescribe him the painkiller Vicodin, which would later escalate into full-blown addiction. 55 Vicodin like a day, which is where I was. 55? Yeah. I think if I'd never taken it, Perry would write years later, none of the next three decades would have gone the way they did. Instead... Wait a minute, I know that hat. I was taken aboard that hat. <laughs> they did experiments on me. I can't have children. Uh, it's very hard to watch that. Um, Because in this weird way, I feel, so, I feel sorry for that guy. Because that's a guy that's out of control. I didn't know what was going on with me. I weighed 155 pounds, all my way to 128 pounds. He'd find himself deep in the throes of ravaging addiction, harrowing times of pain and anguish, days and nights clinging to life in the hospital, multiple surgeries, countless months in rehab, 65 detoxes. Yeah, I mean, detox is hell. You know, I, there is a hell. I know it. I can, it has tangible features. I can describe it. And I would make the decision to have like five, six hours of being high and knowing that six days of that was coming. And I would make that decision over and over and over again. And yet amid it all, he never gave up. Others stood by him as well, including the cast of Friends. They said, what are you doing? Why are you acting this way? What's going on? We know there's a problem with you. And I said, I'm on medication, I'm really sorry, it won't happen again. In nature, when a penguin is injured, the other penguins group around it and prop it up until it's better. This is what my co-stars on Friends did for me. 
you say, addiction, the big terrible thing, is far too powerful for anyone to defeat alone. But together, one day at a time, we can beat it down. Yeah. Your disease is just outside, just doing one-arm push-ups, just waiting, just waiting for you. Waiting to get you alone. Because alone, you lose to the disease. And now I finally feel okay and feel like I've got some strength. Matthew Perry set out to use that strength to bring hope to others in recovery, establishing a sober house. What's interesting about it is I've stood on a stage helping 100,000 people at the same time, um, but I get the same juice, I get the same thing from helping one person. Um, and how, how far down the scale I've gone, which is all a part of this book, that's how low I can then help people. If they've gone through anything close to what I went through, I can come in and help. He's eager to end the stigma of addiction and in desperate times to shine a light. The best thing about me, bar none, is if somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. That's the best thing. And I've said this for a long time, when I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want that to be the first thing that's mentioned. And I'm going to live the rest of my life proving that. So be it. The man who brought joy to so many lives remembered today for the lives he wanted to save. Guys? Just what he wanted, Chris. Yeah, just you could what he see wanted. That when I spoke with him last October, mm -hmm. he would just light up when he talked about the help he was giving mm -hmm. other people. That's what engaged him more than anything else. And he said that there's just something that someone else going through it, they see from him. And this, that, that little nod or whatever, and that, that recognition that you're not alone, that they know exactly what each other has been through. But him we, sharing his own story mm -hmm. just to help countless people that he probably never even met. I know, and he was just so raw, just yeah. so, just, but that was the last time he was here, but he was here several other times, and so we're going to delve into the GMA vault in our next hour with Matthew Perry. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here, so go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.